Hi guys, Lady Random here and welcome back to Feed the Beast Inventions. Right, so in the last episode we were working on our little little tree farm here. Ooh, looks like our charcoal has finished so we could always go grab some more. But yeah, you can see this is working pretty well. So uh, we've got our, our little cart going round so he's busy collecting the logs etc. So yeah working very well indeed so it took a little bit longer to actually get that all up and running than we'd originally intended to happen uh can we put that in let's put half of it in there shall we and we'll stick the other half we'll stick the other half in here just in case we need it but uh yeah so it did mean that we didn't actually finish off the bits that we were intending to do, which were in these two chests here. So I kind of thought we'd do that in this episode. Now, anybody who's been following on um, Sky Factory or possibly even Crack Pack as well um, will have come across some of these. Now, I was trying wherever possible to avoid using um, sort of machines or, or mods too heavily that I've used in the past. But... In order to kind of have a little bit more uh, ability to do some of the things, we do need to build some of the machines that we uh, actually have built before. So one of those is this little thing here, the uh, Endryo sag mill. Um, we're actually going to need that to make some of the bits that we actually need for the stuff we're doing over there. So let's very quickly whack this together. Ooh. Ooh, giving away things there. Uh, now I think we have got... Yeah, there we go. There's our, our little crafting bench that can pop there. Get you out of there. So you just need your three flint. You need your machine chassis. Um, machine chassis, I think we've made before. We've shown that. Oh, go back to that. So that is literally just iron bars, basic capacitor, and uh, some iron and the basic capacitor. Dead easy. Four gold nuggets, copper ingot, and redstone. Let's take those back. So, one, two, three, four. I think this goes like this anyway, from memory. Yeah, there we go. So that is our sag mill. Uh, let's have a think about this. Now, the carts, we can actually move our little cart machine because we don't actually need any power to it so why don't we stick our sag mill up there that can now start drawing a little bit of power from our generator while we're busy doing the other part now the other bits we are needing is something to just give us a little bit of a hand exploring so we are going to stick together the the uh, the basic jetpack so we're just going to look at this one here so the conductive iron jetpack so it's only 25,000 rf um we can obviously upgrade this which is again what we were busy doing in sky factory at the point that we died so i've started making a few bits so the basic capacitor we've just shown you conductive iron that is basically redstone and iron ingots in the alloy smelter um, the leather strap that's dead easy that is literally i believe just i think it was iron and uh iron leather I think yeah so two iron four leather and then you also need the conductive iron thrusters so that is if we come out of this that is what we have here is to make the conductive iron thrusters that we need so let us pop this together now this is where we try to remember desperately what it was and how we actually took it apart so so it's those and those those and those one, two, three, four, and I think it must be the redstone in the middle. No. Is it that? Like so. Nope. Right. Check the recipe. Thrusters. Ooh. Ooh. Insulated redstone conduit. Yeah, we haven't made that, have we? So we need to make that now I thought we have already done this but clearly not so let's put those back in there and let's have a look at our insulated redstone alloy which is 
silicon and redstone so this is why we need our sag mill now it's all coming back to me right let's grab ourselves a bit of sand let's take uh probably that should be enough i think stick that in there so there we go we get silicon you can put um your um i think it's like metal ball type things um or you can also use um i'm really struggling with things today uh flint in there to actually grind it up but i'm only interested at the moment in the silicon so i've not bothered putting anything in that just yet so that has given us seven silicon out of all those sands and we need the redstone to go with it so we need, all in all we need six don't we i believe one two three four five six and i believe this goes in the alloy smelter if i am correct in the induction smelter but i think you can do it in the alloy smelter yes you can yeah perfect so if we go six of those in there six of those in there and it is pretty slow as you can see and we also need the conduit binder for this and i think we have made some of this before let's have a look pretty sure we've got some conduit binder somewhere if not we can knock something together pretty quickly yes we have there we go let's see how this is coming along so that's one so we'll get eight of those out of six of these okay so we'll take one two three four five six I'm going to stick the rest back over while that's cooking up so you can go in there we'll have to hang on to our silicon can go in there for the time being so in which case we don't need to cook up all of that we just need three slowly slowly and boom there we go so let us make this here I'm taking that out of there first so we want three there three there three there that gives us eight of those we actually only need four so we should in theory now be able to put together our thrusters so that was two of them one two one two uh one two one two and one two one two and then where are our capacitors rubbish that's all lumped together as well isn't it right there we go we will get there so let's try this again so one two one two and one two there we go two thrusters so now we just need to assemble the actual jet pack itself so our two thrusters here we have our capacitor i believe is here nope there that goes there one two three four and there we go we have one conductive iron jet pack but is that enough oh no oh no oh no we need to actually have something that we can actually charge this in i can hear a zombie lurking about somewhere but yeah we need to make ourselves um the energetic infuser in order to charge this up so for that we need a leadstone energy cell uh, we need a machine frame we need a couple of uh well, we've got redstone reception coil we need a couple of the redstone transmission coils and we need a couple of copper gears and that gives us our energetic infuser so i'll very quickly just show you the the redstone or leadstone energy cell so that is literally a block of redstone 
lead ingots and coloured glass. So, dead easy. Hey, I hear you. You're all coming over from everywhere, aren't you? Right, so we need our energetic infuser to be powered up in order for us to actually be able to charge up our jetpacks. Let's see, how is this going? That is going very low indeed. Okay, why don't we go... In fact, we've actually got, haven't we, in here... A little bit of charcoal. So we'll stick that in there. That should start charging this up. So this needs a minimum of 25,000 RF in order to charge our jetpack up. So we can stick that in there and that can go and start having the uh, the charge put into it while that is working away. So, ooh, did we set that to active without signal? There we go. Right, so that is our jetpack, our energetic infuser and, ooh, forgot about that one, the other bit that we were going to make. Now this is another Enduario thing, this is something that I haven't made before which is uh, the enchantment pedestal which is simply four bits of dark steel, two diamonds and a book. So it's kind of similar to making an enchanting table and that gives you your enchanter. So to show you quickly the dark steel, we actually did make that for the dark steel axe. Um, but that is simply either in your induction smelter or in your alloy smelter. So in your alloy smelter, which is the way I did it, was an iron ingot, coal dust and a block of obsidian and that gives dark steel. But you can also do it in an induction smelter, which we don't have, which is either obsidian dust or pulverised obsidian um, and steel dust or steel ingots. But uh, easy way for us, we actually have the uh, uh, the alloy smelter so we did it in there so this is our enchanter this works basically in the same way um, to a degree as the enchanting table um, but again you obviously would need levels to do anything with it and I believe it might actually need some power as well let's have a quick okay so need to use XP to combine items and a book and quill to create enchanted books so uh, there we go that is what we can use that for so uh, something where we start to get into uh, enchanting our tools a bit later on that will work very nicely for us now there we go we have one fully charged jetpack so we've got hover mode disabled and I believe is it you to enter the GUI for this uh, should tell us press you while wearing to open the GUI. Yep, that's what I thought. So we can actually get this armoured, which is something that we didn't do before, so it offers a little bit more protection. Um, but there we go. So you've got the toggling the engine, so you can turn the engine engines off at the moment, engine on and hover mode. We've toggled that on for the minute. So there we go. We have hover mode on. So with the jetpacks, you can um, armour them so you do I think it's the electrical still oh you can you can armour the conductive iron one so in order to do that you would need to have some silicon armour plating which is silicon and iron ingots that'll make your armour plating and then you would put that with your jetpack so do you know what we could actually do this because it's one thing I didn't do and it was one thing that I always found was a massive weakness with this so why don't we take another 16 that should give us plenty so it looks to be sort of a 50% chance of getting getting silicon we have three but let's get some more for just need one more five there we go let's go and grab some iron and I think it was four iron we needed wasn't it so let's stick that together very quickly so I think it went like that like that like that like that and then was it that 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 and that is it this way around maybe there we go so there's our silicon armor 
plating so we can whip our jetpack off and stick those together that now gives us an armored jetpack so with the uh, the iron armor on you can see we are pretty much we're sort of two and a half full armor points away uh, we can now take that off stick our jetpack on and we're about half less than we would be but it's considerably better than the unarmoured version so we'll stick our chest plate in here and why don't we stick those chests in there as well I've got a few little toolie bits that stick everything that we don't need away for the moment and why don't we go on a little bit of exploration around our area so we've got a little bit of a uh, little bit of fuel i'm sort of thinking why don't we sort of take ourselves off and have a little bit of a look around i don't know how far we're actually going to get with this um i have been off over this way and do you know what we haven't been this way have we i have found uh but a few things it's a fairly extensive jungle biome god this still this feels very slow i think it's we're so used to kind of moving over much smaller terrain in void world than we have been with this so do you know what i'm kind of thinking this is like 71 percent already we're not actually going to get particularly far with it are we but let's have a little a little look over this way in fact why don't we kind of come down and we're frozen and let's take hover mode off I think hopefully that might save us a little bit on fuel yeah it will do that's lovely right it just means it gives us a chance to actually get back now it looks like we've got a bit of a bit of a volcano over this way a very low what's what's this stuff uh basalt okay so we have basalt a few more trees just so trying to see if there's anywhere where we can actually get sort of extra resources maybe so maybe something that looks like a good place to mine so we've got obviously a big desert with a big volcano in the middle of that let's see oh he's gone now we did have a creeper on our mini map. It's a little bit of a forest over this way. Oh, we've picked up something. Let's very quickly just swim across here. Yeah, swimming in a jetpack, possibly not the cleverest idea we've ever had. Come on, let me out the water. Why don't we actually just turn that off for a second so we can kind of run normally and we'll use it to get back as and when we need to move a little bit quicker so it looks like here we are continuing into I see look this is more like the see that's acacia and that's more like the, see that's a bit strange so obviously the biome that we're in is acacia wood but it's from the XL biomes and this is the vanilla acacia wood so you do still have that kind of thing i thought that the other one had been changed for the purposes of this pack but apparently not it looks like we do still have ooh, oopsie get out of there we do still have the vanilla trees as well which is making me wonder whether we've actually got oh what are you so you're candelidia and you're fully grown or very nearly fully grown aren't you okay I have to find a use for that. If we carry on heading over this way. So that is an interesting little structure over there, isn't it? I wonder what that is. It's a very cool kind of mountainy thing. But that, can you see that in the distance? We've got that, that green thing over there. And I'm wondering, is that some form of tree? Or is it some form of dungeony thing? Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, walking into a cactus. I wonder what that was. Yep. 
be angry. Let's have a little nibble. Probably explain why we're getting a little bit slow, but yeah, that over there. What the heck is that? Obviously got the uh, aftermath of... Oh, it's always rude not to take a little bit of wood if it's there. Ah, oh, there we go. We've got wolves. But it's you. What are you? Hi! Hi, wolfies. What are you? Now, your leaves. Cypress. Oh, okay. Now, that makes sense. Let's have a choppy chop chop down of you. I'm just wondering whether we've got actually enough wood in our axe for that. I would say probably not. So let's enough wood. Enough life left in our axe even. Let's take this down. Oh hello. So it's got those uh, angry wolves in it. There we go. Let's gather, gather these up. Hopefully we have... Oh okay. Oh, we'll take that. The wolfie did did a bit of work for us. Yes, we have got cypress saplings, so we can at least replant the one we've taken. I've got loads of them up there. Hi! So it's obviously they have a bit of an issue with the sheep, don't they? But this is a very interesting... A little bit of lag. We're generating new terrain, which is probably the reason why we're getting that. Let's see if we can hop across over here. The cypress, yeah, I really like those. I wonder what the uh, the logs themselves actually look like. And what's this tree? We've got here a Japanese maple. Oh, well, won't we grab that as well while we're here? All could be stuff that we could we could use. Good, that's dropped. Oh, that looks like that could be quite a nice redwood as well. We've we got all the saplings. It looks like we have. So this looks to be. Let me stick our uh, jetpack on. Just take ourselves up and just have a little bit of a look around. our little marker back towards where our, uh, our base is over there. It kind of occurs to me I haven't actually bothered to mark the base on the map, which is probably a little bit silly. Right, let's get ourselves out of here I think. I kind of think we know, uh, we know where we are. Top of the engine off again. A little bit of a run through. Hi! So I love it, they're killing these but they're actually, they're actually not uh, not taking the meat they're leaving the meat for me which i'm quite happy with because as far as i'm concerned that is a whole bunch of free food Ooh, we've got a bit of copper up there so yes yeah, so it looks like we've actually got oh that's interesting See, that almost looks a bit like a structure doesn't it almost let's have a look are you anything? I think you are literally just just a formation by the looks of things. So I think that's pretty much as far as we can really safely go with it out on what we have. So now we definitely need to actually get a better jetpack but at least we've kind of got a way of getting out of things. I'm sort of keeping a little bit of an eye on the mini-map just to make sure that we've got nothing kind of too nasty appearing too close to us but hopefully we can outrun the spawning of stuff and get back to our base. So what I will do, I will carry on heading back and I shall see you when we get there. And we are back. Okay. Yeah, that was a little hairy. Um, we got down to, what, we 6% on our jetpack getting back. But we made it, which is the good thing. So uh, let's let's drop this off. Get that recharged up. That just seems to run out so much more quickly than I kind of remember. But 
I am also guessing that that will largely be down to the fact that uh, we are travelling a lot further distances than maybe we were previously. Right, now let's, let's just have a quick look at these. More out of interest than anything. I'll throw the, uh, throw the food in there. And the saplings, yes. You can go in there. But I'm kind of curious with regards to what this uh, this wood actually looks like. So we've got a really pink, dark pink wood and all oh, the white. Now that, I quite like that. Let's put those... That's quite nice. Now I did also find as well while I was out and about um, this here, redwood. And that was a really tall tree that was uh, over the back there. So let's have a look and see what that looks like. So that just comes out looking almost a bit like oak, doesn't it? It's kind of somewhere between oak and spruce. Maybe it was dark as spruce, but sort of between oak and, and something. But just gives us a couple of more uh, sort of different woods that we can actually play with. And I do really like that. I really like the white. So uh, that could be something that would be quite nice if we can to actually do something with. But there we go. Always nice to find new materials. Okay, so a little bit of a sort of semi-derpy episode, I guess. We've built a couple of things. Um, you know, again, yes, it is stuff that we have made before, but um, it's something that is going to be essential for us to do what we want to do. And uh, also sort of give us, get us out of some sticky situations having the jetpack if we can. But for now, guys, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and we shall see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.